Welcome to Chris Cook for YouTube. Today I'm going to be cooking pinto beans. I've really had a taste for this dish all week, but we went from one dish to another and I was unable to do it. So today I'm like, uh-uh, I'm just going to make my pinto beans. So let's get started with the ingredients that you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need the pinto beans. And here they are. This is what they look like because pinto beans are different from just red beans. A lot of people like red beans and rice. I like pinto beans and rice. So you're going to need the pinto beans. This onion is optional. You don't really need it, but you can use it. This is also optional. I'm going to use some granulated garlic, some onion powder, and this is ham broth. You may or may not be able to get this. I can get this in my local seasoning shop. This is a really good product if you can find it. I have it in a different container, but this ham broth will bring plenty good smoky ham flavor to anything that you're cooking that you want to use it in. Now, to season my beans, you're also going to need a little bit of sugar. Now, to season my beans, there's nothing like, if you don't have all of these ingredients, there's nothing like a ham bone. This ham bone I had left from maybe Christmas or Thanksgiving, I'm not sure what holiday it is, but whenever I'm cooking ham, whether it be Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, I don't care what it is, I always take that ham bone and freeze it. There's a reason for that. When it comes to boiled vegetables on Southern style, you cannot be adding a ham bone. That ham bone will bring so much flavor. Doesn't have to have any meat on it. You just want to add that ham bone. When you don't know what to put in your Southern style cooking, uh, whether on your vegetables, make certain, just add some smoked meat. That's all you need. I'm using smoked neck bones. You can use smoked turkey tails, smoked uh, turkey necks. You can use smoked meats. You can use anything that you want to use. If it's smoked, you're going to get good flavor out of anything that you cook southern style when it comes to vegetables. Now, the one thing that I don't do that a lot of people may do, I don't add salt until the very end of the cooking process. Why is that? I have learned in my 50 years of cooking that adding salt to your beans will split them. Now, some people, they go ahead and they add salt. Beans come out okay, but why take that chance? If you want a whole bean, it's best to leave this salt off until you cut off the flame from up underneath your pot and then add your salt. Anything that does not have salt in it, you can go ahead and add it. But if it has uh, any salt in it, like you're using any seasonings that has salt in them, don't, I wouldn't use it until the very end. I like my beans to be whole and I like my beans to be creamy. And I'm going to show you how to get both of them today in cooking these pinto beans. Now you do have to pinch to uh, pick your beans. And I have over here, I have two pounds of beans that I've already picked. These were just beans on my shelf for me to show you. But when you pick your beans, you want to take out any little small rocks. I didn't find one in this pack, but sometimes you can find little bitty small rocks. I want to take out all the small rocks. I want to take out any of the half beans, and I want to take out any of the rotten beans. Those you want to take out when you're actually picking your beans. The reason you want to do that is because these are already split. These are already no good. So you don't want it in your pot. One other way that you can tell beans that you don't want in your pot. When you get ready to rinse your beans off, and I'm going to show you that, any bean that floats to the top, you don't want it. You want to take that bean out and go ahead and throw it away. Now, in a two-pound pack, you may get two or three beans that will float to the top. That's all you're going to get. So it's not like you're actually losing any beans. So you want to take it out. So I'm going to go away, rinse this, and I'm going to get this ready to go in my pot. Today, I'm having pinto beans and rice with cornbread. I know it's going to be delicious, but I'm going to show you how to get your beans just like my beans. All you have to do, if you follow my instructions, you're going to get the same results that I get. Be right back. Okay, now I'm at the sink and I've already put the water inside of my beans. I don't want to show you this. See, you'll only get one or two. 
And of course, you want to rinse and wash your beans off. I just saw one that was split that I didn't get out. Here it is. Okay, I want to get that out. Okay. Now look. See how many beans you have floating to the top? You only got one bean and a few of the little crumbs. So you want to take that out. But that bean right there, that bean is no good. You want to take it out. Old school trick. Okay, so we have it out. So now I'm going to rinse this off. Now you can cook your beans in your slow cooker if that's what you choose to do. Or you can cook it on top of the stove. I'm going to cook these on top of the stove. So now I'll meet you at the stove once I get through rinsing this off. Be okay, right now I'm at the stove and I have my smoked meats in the pot. Now I'm going to start my smoked meats and my beans together. You can soak your beans if that's what you choose to do. That will make for faster cooking. I didn't soak these. I'm just going to put them right in with my meat. So here my beans go. And I'm going to allow this to cook at least two hours. Okay, now once I have all my beans in, there's my good old ham bone. I'm going to stick it down in there. I'm going to put in some leftover ham that I scraped from the bone at the time that I got ready to store that bone or to freeze that bone. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in some sugar. And sugar just make your beans taste good. And you're not putting in enough to taste it. You're just putting in enough to get you a balance. You don't need these onions, but I'm going to go ahead and put them in. And here I'm going to put in half of my seasonings. And I did add some crushed red pepper to that. I'm going to put in half of my seasonings. And then I'm going to put in the rest halfway through cooking. So, I'm going to allow this to cook on, the, on a medium heat, and I'm going to let it cook for roughly about an hour and a half. Bring it back, show you what it looks like. Be back in a minute. Okay, now we're back, and the beans are done, and I've tasted the beans. I was going to bring you back when I added, as you can see, when I added the rest of the seasonings, but I never added them because I tasted the beans, and I told you that ham bone does what nothing else will do. But I want to show you these beans. Look at how creamy these beans are. That's the way your beans are supposed to be. Let me see if I can if I can get another spoon. I really picked the wrong one. But see, your beans are supposed to be creamy. And your beans are supposed to be whole. Now I got my meat. I told you I was putting my meat all the way through here. See, that's meat and whole beans that's what you want you want whole beans see there you don't want your beans splitting all up on you so what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a picture of the plate because we're not ready to eat right now so I'm just gonna post a picture of the plate but I wanted to show you and I guarantee you if you cook the beans the way I showed you you're gonna get the same results that I get this is a very good pot of beans. I've had a chance to um, taste them. And now I can kill this craving inside of me that I have for some pinto beans. I have pinto beans. I have my rice. And I have a skillet of cornbread. So I am truly, truly going to enjoy this. Okay, that's what Chris has for you today. Chris is cooking pinto beans along with rice and cornbread. I'm going to enjoy it, and if you try this recipe, I guarantee you, you will enjoy it too. And as always, thank you for watching. Chris Cook for you too. Bye!